Hi, I'm Rachel with Carefree Crafting. We're going to make this pillow today. It goes with the blue quilt we did last week. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have a question, someone else probably has the same question. We will either answer in the comments or if enough people ask the same question, we'll make another video. If you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me show you how this goes together. So the first thing we'll need to do to turn this block into a pillow is we'll need to quilt it a little bit to reinforce it. So I've just got a piece of scrap batting and if your batting has scrim, you want scrim side down. Scrim would be this little polyester membrane that they put on the batting to keep it together. If your batting is just needle punch, there's no need for a backing. We just need to reinforce this a little bit so that when we go to stuff the pillow, it doesn't make the stitches pop and make the block separate. I'll bring my thread up. Since I'm gifting the pillow and the quilt as a set, I want the quilting on the pillow to match the quilt, so I'm gonna do an all over stipple. Anything would work, we just have to stabilize the stitching. The next thing we'll need to do is trim off this excess batting. We want it flush with the edge of the block. So we'll spread out our backing, right side up, and we'll put our quilted block on it right side down. Just smooth it all nice and flat. Then we'll pin this together at the corners and we'll sew around the edges. Now make sure that you leave an opening somewhere on this and make sure that it's at least as big as your hands spread out because you have to get your hand in here to turn this right side out. You also have to get the stuffing in. So I need to leave an opening at least that big. start here, back stitch a little, So now that's all sewn together and there's one more thing we're going to do before we turn this right side out. I know that this is going to a house with a lot of children in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra piece of backing and fold it over and stitch it down again to reinforce it and I'll do that all the way around. And if it ends up looking a little sloppy you can trim it for bulk but this will never be seen again. Keep track of where your opening is. For the corners, I'm just folding them the same way that I do the quilt binding. I'm just not as tidy about it because like I said, the inside of this pillow will never be seen again. you put your hand in this opening. I didn't make it quite big enough. You just pull it through. And doing it that way, your corners are already stuffed. Because it's hardest to get the stuffing in the corners, it tends to want to bunch up in the middle. 
but by folding the backing over and making it a little bit bulky, your corners end up a bit sharper. And I'm just pushing my finger into the corner from the other side. Like that. There's an empty pillow. It needs a little bit of stuffing. Actually, it needs a lot of stuffing. to put this in. In some places this is called wadding, in some places it's called stuffing, in some places it's called polyfill, fiber fill. You put it in by the handful until you're satisfied with how bulky your pillow is. We need to close this opening now that our pillow is nice and stuffed. This is easiest to do by hand. You can do it on machine, but I'm not very good at that. So just put our needle in there and we're using double thread and then I'm just going to use a hidden stitch and here's our pillow again what do you think I think you could probably do it happy quilting everybody